last video showed how to pass in a data dictionary inside a function to calculate the balance sheet calculations. This video will show how to create a financial position balance sheet calculation function. Let's start with calling our function finance position, which will take in a data dictionary which we will call financial statement which the data type will be a dictionary and the first thing we want to do is have a print statement it starts out on a new line and states what will be printed out here and a balance sheet is what will be printed here Okay, the first thing we want is to find our current assets. So let's define our current assets into a variable. So inside data dictionary, we want to find the cash key value. So financial statement, we want to find the cash. We want to add the cash to accounts receivable. Accounts receivable. Backtick just means start on a new line. Financial statement. Find supplies. And then also we add financial statement inventory. Now that we have our current assets, we can print out the current assets. Current assets equal curly brackets, which is for formatting, colon, comma, which means make whatever the output value is put into comma format and we use dot format which formats strings we pass in our current assets we calculated our current assets from our data dictionary next we need to find non-current assets so non-current assets from our data dictionary. So non current assets. Well, we need to find in our financial statement the property land. Then we need to find financial statement, property buildings. Subtract, also backtick means start on a new line. Sum the financial statement of accumulated appreciation backtick start a new line plus financial statement of equipment so now that we have our non-current assets we can print out oops we can spell it right print non-current asset dollar sign curly bracket colon comma at the end of the string dot format in our variable non-current asset then we have so far we have current assets and non-current assets 
Now we want to find our current liabilities. Current liabilities from our data dictionary. Let's make our variable current liabilities equals. So we need to find our financial statement, accounts payable, then financial statement, salaries payable, new line, financial statement, find income tax payable, plus financial statement, interest payable, back tick, financial statement, unearned revenue, financial statement, current portion loan payable, plus financial statement of current portion mortgage, mortgage payable going off the screen there. Okay, so we have our current liabilities. Let's print out our current liabilities. Again with the comma. You'll also see dot to F, which means two floating point numbers after the decimal. Dot format, then our current liability. We need non-current liabilities which should be above our share equity, but we'll throw it in here, we can move it later. So non-current liabilities, one is our financial statement of bank loan payable, subtract our financial statement of current portion, loan payable, our non-current liability two, is our financial statement of mortgage payable, track financial statement, current portion mortgage payable, then non-current liability is the NCL one plus NCL, then we can print out our non current liabilities. We want non-current non-current liabilities. Now we want to calculate debt to total assets. So total liabilities equals current liabilities plus non-current liabilities. Total assets is current assets plus non-current assets, get total assets equals total liabilities divided by total assets. Now we can print get to total assets. And this is a percentage here. So we want to make sure we got dot two F. So two floating point numbers after the decimal. And after the curly brackets, you can add our percent sign, so we know it's a percentage. Dot format. Then our debt to total assets. Then times it by 100, so it's a proper percentage afterwards. So we can see that it's a percentage and not a decimal floating point number. Next is our net income also known as the bottom line. So net income, grab our financial statement, revenue minus the financial statement of expenses. And we can print out our net income. Net income equals dollar sign, colon, comma. Actually, we want dot two F and dot format. And our net income. And for making it look nice, we can have a bottom line here. Back tick, new line. To call your function, type the name of your function, and then our financial statement 
dictionary we want to pass in. Financial statement. 